So today I'm gonna to share with you the number one thing that will kill your dreams. And when you master this, you will catapult yourself into your next level self. So this is a thing that's costing you your dreams right now. Maybe you can relate. And this is hesitation. The moment you begin to hesitate on what you are feeling intuitively guided to do, you are allowing your mental body, your psyche, your mind, your ego-driven fears to run the show. You've already received the impulse, you've received the download, and then instead of pulling the trigger, you hesitate. What would your life look like if you just committed to 30 days of no hesitation? Just 30 days, just 10 days, just even one day. If you went through one day of taking action immediately on your intuitive guidance, not thinking about it, not bouncing it back and forth in your brain, trying to figure out if it's logical or not, not trying to rationalize or justify the decision. Just follow your intuitive guidance, no questions asked without any hesitation. When you do that, you will catapult yourself into your next level self because you will be acting on soul guidance alone. You will be acting on intuition, which isn't always logical, doesn't always make sense. It's not something you can rationalize or justify because your intuition is leading you into the unknown. Your intuition is leading you beyond what you have known thus far for yourself. You're expanding outside of your current self, your current reality, what you've created for yourself, how you know yourself to be in this reality right now. In order to get to your next level self, you need to think, act, be, and do completely differently. And your guidance system that's taking you there is your intuition. But the number one thing that I see so many spiritual entrepreneurs doing is discounting their intuition. I even see this happen all the time on strategy calls. They still sign up. I give everybody a time period to sign up with me if they're interested. And many of them take that time period because they need to think about it. And what I can say is the ones that are truly meant to be in the program, they already know. They already know. And they'll even tell me this. They already know. But it's almost it's just habitual to say you need to think about it. It's habitual to say, I love this one. I need to go meditate on it. No, you don't. Your intuition speaks to you in the moment when you can learn to trust what is guiding you and not hesitate on it. You will be making at fast actions, taking fast actions in the moment that will immediately align you with your highest path. It's the mental body, the logical brain, the analyzation, the analytical brain, and the fear-driven egoic mind that tells you you have to think about it, that tells you you need more time. All of the clients that have worked with me, they already know. This was a gut knowing. This was an instinctual knowing. It was soul aligned. They already knew. And some of them still say they have to think about it and then they sign up. But I'm here to tell you that if you can trust the guidance, there's what happens is some fear sets in, they say they have to think about it. And then what happens when you hesitate is that the fear can start to get stronger because one thought they're magnetic, they lead to another. So if you give your fear-based egoic mind an opportunity to run the show, one thought will lead to another and what happens is the hesitation starts to get louder and the fear gets louder. And then now they're at a tug of war between what their soul is telling them to do and what their mind uh, is bringing up as far as their own fear-based limited beliefs. And when they finally take action on the soul guidance, 
they immediately feel relief. They feel excitement. They feel momentum. They feel a release. They feel lighter. They've energetically up leveled, but they made it more difficult than it needed to be because they hesitated because they didn't trust the guidance that was coming through the very first time. And that doesn't happen on every call. A lot of uh, my clients, they're just like, yeah, where, let's do this. And they don't even give that room. They don't even give the room to hesitate. They just act on their intuitive guidance right out the gate. And this is a skill um, that you cultivate. Trusting your intuitive guidance and getting out of the narrative and getting out of the mind is how you align with your soul because you are not your mind. You are not your thoughts. You are not the fears. You are not the limited beliefs and you are not the one that is going back and forth, analyzing, judging, rationalizing, and trying to make sense of the next thing that you should be doing or whatever action you should be taking. You are not that. The you that you want to be tuned into is the one behind that, that is witnessing you do that with your mind so that you can then take action from the soul guidance, even though the mind is playing out its duality and doing its thing. And the mind will cease to do that uh, to a degree as you train the mind by coming into conscious present moment awareness more often day to day and cultivating that silent witness and that observer within. And the more you do that, then you can witness the mind, but you're not the mind. And so then you don't get sucked up into the drama of the mind and you can make quick, easy decisions that are intuitively guided and will immediately align you with your path. Before the fear even has a chance to kick in, you're already building momentum towards your next level self. Okay. I was listening to Bob Proctor a couple of weeks ago on a YouTube video and he was saying that he he's obviously talked to a lot of successful, highly successful people. And one of the things that he recognized that he was talking about and um, that Napoleon Hill uh, references and um, that he was talking about in this video is that the ones that were really success successful that they um, uh, that he spoke with had one thing in common, and that was that they had the ability to make quick decisions. They made quick decisions. What were they basing these decisions on? They weren't analyzing them to make quick decisions. They were acting on their intuitive guidance. That's how they made a quick decision. You have a few seconds before hesitation will kick in from the time that you are intuitively guided to do something before the hesitation will kick in and then the fear comes and all the doubt and then the narrative and then everything derails you after that because now you're sucked back into your same story. You're stuck into the same narrative that you currently are in. You can't be in the same narrative that you're currently in and step into your next level self. The only way to step into your next level self and bust through your own, um, you know, what do you want to call it? Bust through your own ceiling and, and, and go beyond what you know to be true for yourself now is you have to be willing to step into that unknown. And that is where your intuition guides you. And therefore, you're not going to find the most logical rationalizations. You're not going to find all of the analytical things that you want. You're not. You're being asked to trust and have faith and follow your intuition. And it invokes, especially if you have a lot of control issues and it's really hard for you to let go and come into the present moment and you're really stuck in the mind, it evokes fear because it feels like a loss of control. And ultimately, the more you release the control and trust the intuitive guidance, the quicker you're going to see results. And my clients see this in my program, Sacred Leader Academy, all the time. The moment they stop to drop, they start to drop the control and they surrender 
and they start to have faith and they trust the intuitive guidance that is coming through them, everything falls into place. Everything gets easier. Everything is more joyful. Everything is more fun. Their energetic vibration instantly up levels. I have a client who she was very much in that situation wanting to control the process of how her program was going to unfold. And this was a very, you know, a restrictive, rigid way to sort of build out your program. And this is not what I teach in Sacred Leader Academy. And there was resistance there to release the control and wanting to plan everything out in advance and having everything dialed in and having it all figured out. There was resistance there to trust the process and allow the intuitive guidance to come through and trust in that and take action on that. There was a lot of fear around that of really trusting and letting go of the control. And you know what happened when she let go of the control and she followed the process and she landed five paid and full clients within a matter of like 72 hours for her new program of which she had no content created and she didn't even have a title for her program because she thought she had a title and then she had to name it and then she was bouncing back and forth. And at first, you know, she, she was sort of stressing her out because she needed that control. She wanted to know the name of her program. These details don't even matter. She didn't know the name of her program. She didn't have any content created in advance and she had landed five paid and full clients within a few uh, days of her stepping, releasing the resistance and stepping into her next level self through the process of surrendering, trusting the intuitive guidance and just taking action on that. And this is how you build a soul aligned business. You don't build a soul aligned business by leading with your ego and by making decisions with your ego and by making decisions that are rooted in fear, trying to avoid fear. Um, and so then you get stuck in analyzation, paralysis analysis, you know, analyzing everything, overthinking everything. If you're overthinking something, this should be a big red flag that you're in your mental body and you're not connected to the essence of who you truly are, which is the one who is observing, who is observing the witness there that can witness you being in your thinking mind. So hesitation, getting rid of that hesitation, you have a few seconds, literally, when hesitation starts to kick in that if you just practice acting on your intuitive guidance just for a day and then do it for another day and then do it for another day and recognize when you wanna pause and hesitate and slip into the narrative, the mind and the story and the fear and the justifications and the analyzing and all of those kind of things, recognize when that pops up because that's gonna be your number one hindrance to you building out a soul line program with ease and fun and flow. So I hope this video finds you well. If you really like this content, please leave me a comment below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And if it really resonates with you, then I invite you to hop on my Soul Align Success Masterclass. Um, you're gonna get to learn a little bit about me, my style, what I'm about, how I help, who I help. Um, and if that truly resonates with you, you'll get a special invite to hop on a 60 minute deep dive strategy session with me. So check out that link below the video, wherever you're watching it. And I hope to see you on the masterclass and tuning in for another episode very soon. Namaste.